Say hey, it is Throwback Thursday, May 6th, 2021. It was May 6th, 1931, that one of the greatest baseball players, one of the greatest athletes, one of the greatest men of all time, Willie Mays, was born. Turned 90 today. One of my childhood heroes right there is a, an autograph photo. Uh, when I was a kid, I uh, sent, I took a... Uh, Went to a printer and blew up a photo of my three favorite players, Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, and I don't remember the third one. And I uh, glued the photo to a piece of cardboard, put it in an envelope, big envelope, put a bunch of stamps on it, and then folded another big envelope in there with stamps on it and wrote a handwritten uh, letter to them and asked, would you please sign this and put it in the enclosed self-addressed stamped envelope and send it back and... And these two did, Hank Aaron and Willie Mays, that personally hand-signed it. The third one came back with a stamped signature on it. And that's why for life of me, I don't even remember who that third player was. I just tossed it. I mean, stamped signature, who needs that? But uh, not only did Willie Mays sign it, but check it out. To Steve, best wishes, Willie Mays. How do you not love that? Willie Mays. Uh, uh, almost and arguably the greatest all-around baseball player ever. I mean, they judge baseball players, they call them five tools in baseball. Uh, hitting, hitting for power, fielding, running. Jeez, I don't even know, what's the fifth one? Throwing? Uh, Mays could do it all. And an incredible cannon of an arm that could throw from anywhere, any direction, throwing people out. They were bewildered and like, there's no way that had to be a relay throw, no way he reached from there. Uh, he was known to play such a shallow center field and steal base hits away from all kinds of people because he was so fast going back that nobody could hit it over his head and go back there. And he did make the most famous catch in all of baseball history in the 1954 World Series off Vic Wirtz of the Cleveland Indians, play known as the catch in the spacious polo grounds, which was like, I don't know, 500-something feet to dead center or whatever, and he was typically playing shallow and ran all the way back full speed and looked over his head and caught the ball. Come on now, don't be ridiculous. Could he run for speed? I mean, he would lead the league in stolen bases. At the same time, he was hitting 50 homers, leading the league in batting average, hitting 350. I mean, this guy hit, if you don't know baseball, just understand that he hit over 300 for his career, I think 302. Uh, at the time he retired, he was third all-time in home runs behind Babe Ruth and Hank Aaron with his 660. Played his entire career with the Giants, first in New York, and then when he moved out to San Francisco until last year, two years really, of his career, 72 and 73, with the New York Mets, including his final playing when the Mets made, made the World Series in 1973. And I remember that due to an injury... He even, they put him in center field, I think, in game one, uh, even though, you know, come on now, give him a break. He had, you know, played for 25 years or something. This guy uh, was a shadow of his former self, and, uh, you know, he was kind of stumbling and bumbling out there in center field and falling down, but uh, he was there playing center field in the World Series in 1973. Oh, yeah, so think about it. Born in 31. He was 42 years old, and uh, I know. Tom Brady's at all, whatever, and this and that, but man, uh, not only uh, was Mays, you know, everyone has their own physical conditioning, but Mays had an issue with passing out a lot. I remember Mays uh, was, was going to the hospital once in a while for passing out in the middle of games, and he said, that's because I give my 100%, I give my all on every play, every minute of every game. I love the game, love it more than anything. Uh, one of the greatest ambassadors of the game, one of the greatest ambassadors of all the sports, Unlike a whole bunch of modern athletes, he never said a word about politics or race, even as the, the civil uh, rights uh, movement was raging. He said, look, I'm going to do what I do best, which is play baseball. And I think that's best for everybody, or paraphrasing. Uh, Willie Mays, you just can't say enough. I, I will say that, uh, as with a lot of ballplayers playing golf on their off days, uh, he would play golf at a uh, course, uh, near where I went to high school, in Fort Lee, New Jersey, and where I happened to caddy. And I do remember the day that, uh, I mean, they, you know, they, everyone would say, I never saw him play, but everyone would say he would just blast the crap 
out of the golf ball, no kidding. And, uh, ah. Little timer. Gotta get back to work. Um, and I remember uh, at the time I was, uh, came off the first tee and was looking in the woods for a ball that, uh, you know, my guy that I was caddying for had hit on his second shot. And uh, sure enough, I picked up a ball and what did it say on it? It said, say hey, 24. Now, over the years, unfortunately, I don't know where that ball went because how awesome would that be to have? Say hey, 24 right on it. Undoubtedly, it was his tee shot uh, nearly at the green, like, th you know, 300 something yards away or whatever. Uh, and that was his nickname. Little, uh, trivia here. His nickname was Say Hey, the Say Hey Kid. Uh, not because he would walk around going, Say Hey, Say Hey, as a lot of people think, but simply because he would say hey a lot. They're like, he would say hey. Hey, hey you, hey this, hey everybody, hey let's play, hey whatever. So he was saying hey and became known as the Say Hey Kid. The guy that would always say the word hey. He did not, uh, according to everyone, did not walk around saying the phrase, say hey. He would say hey, and became the say hey kid. Anyway, Willie Mays, uh, even if I wasn't a Mets fan, which I wasn't, obviously, at the time, uh, and I was never a Braves fan at the time, that these guys are my favorite players, and I was never a Yankees fan, of course, being a Mets fan when I was a Mickey Mantle fan. Maybe he was the third player, I don't remember. But uh, happy birthday, Willie, 90 years old, still bringing a smile to anyone's face, just thinking about if you never got a chance to watch Willie play, I mean, you got to be able to go onto YouTube or somewhere and it's got to be videos because this guy was just amazing, just amazing. And in fact, now that I think about it, first baseball game my dad ever took me to in 1965 in Shea Stadium in New York was the Mets against the Giants. And I believe that uh, Willie McCovey hit a home run that day and Willie Mays hit a triple. And I think as far as triples, he has the all-time record still for most triples in All-Star games. I think, last I checked, he has the record for most home runs in extra innings in the history of baseball, 20-something. Like, uh, you know, he's up there in the top five or top ten in so many categories uh, still to this day, even though he hasn't played for basically 50 years. Uh, Willie Mays, incredible career, incredible guy. I know a lot of people that have met him, that known him. Had a brush with greatness with him, and uh, no, I've never heard anyone said any bad word about him. The contrary, everyone said he was the nicest, most positive, happiest guy that just brought light into the world everywhere he went. Uh, and also, uh, he would play uh, my favorite game, sport. I played uh, when I was a high school kid, stickball. That's where you take basically a broomstick and a little you know, orange Spalding rubber ball, and uh, you get to fire it at a wall where you you paint a, a square box on the wall for the uh, for the strike zone, and the batter stands there with the broomstick and uh, tries to hit the ball. Uh, Willie Mays would play, like, just about every night. I mean, he'd play all the time with kids in the Bronx in New York uh, when a lot of the games back then were day games. So at night, when the kids came home from school and his game was on, he'd come out and he'd play. And they said nobody could ever, nobody ever hit a stickball. I bet you can find videos of him hitting stickball. Like nobody could ever hit a stickball further than him. He'd hit it like, smash the ball like, you know, two blocks. They <laughs> were like you couldn't play far enough. Back. The kids could not play far enough back when Willie Mays came up. I mean, he he could do it all. Uh, and most of all, like I said, just. Bring a smile to my face. I hope he brings a smile to yours. Uh, never a better all-around baseball player than the Say Hey Kid. The one, the only, the great Willie Mays. Happy birthday wherever you are. And best wishes for many, many, many more. And that'll do it for Throwback Thursday. Over and out. Bye-bye.